what's up y'all welcome go back to another video so today is august first y'all it's a brand new month brand new set of goals brand new mindset brand new week so to start off i did make breakfast now I did start later than I expected today, but some things didn't go as to plan earlier, so it is 12 o'clock already. And I know I'm drinking a gallon of water single day, so starting this late is probably not good. So I'm still at 7 a.m. But I'm gonna get to checking. And I also made breakfast, so I did like the YouTube girlies, but instead of avocado, I just got jelly. If I'm not avocado, girl, like maybe four like six vlogs back i tried avocado toast for the vlog and i hated it so yeah so i just got toast with jelly and then a fried egg on top so i'm gonna enjoy this for breakfast get down to at least 9 a.m on this water and get my day started so yeah what's up y'all so it's some hours later i am <laughs> making progress on the water so it's almost four o'clock and i'm almost at the three o'clock line so i'm like making some good progress but jesus i should have started earlier like it's my fault because i started so late i didn't start till noon so i started super late but whatever i have some book mail got some book mail so first i have the alexandra warren book so i have the real deal by alexandra warren if you don't know she's one of the authors that i plan on reading her whole backlist this year her and um the rizzy adams which i'm almost done with rizzy adams kind of sort of maybe not really but <clears throat> i just read two rizzy Adams books um, on Kindle Unlimited. I do have Kindle Unlimited for the next month. Free trial just to see if I really want to, you know, use it or not. So I'm using it right now and it's not that bad actually. So yeah. My, plus I just downloaded some Alexandria Warren books down there that, that don't have paper books. They're just Kindle Unlimited. So I'm going to read a couple of those before I read my paper books. So the other paper book I have is a thicky TL Swan books are always thick, but I love them. And it's play along. I love TL Swan. This book is probably like 600 pages. Oh, it's 400. But she's still a thicky and I'm really excited to read her as well. But I am gonna drink some more water for a little bit. And then I'm gonna get up and go to the grocery store. And then from there, we're going to the gym later on, so. And I wrote down in my, my, this used to be a work notebook, but clearly I don't work that job anymore, so I'm using it as like a meal tracking, workout tracking type book, so. So it just says week one. Um, the day I have some stars on here, so I have my starting weight, I have meal planning, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner for this week that I want to make, cook, or eat. Then I have the workout list. So for workouts, I do what I'm doing. So I'm working out every single day. So Monday is cardio slash hit day. So that's what I'm doing today. And then abs, Tuesday, Wednesday legs, Thursday cardio hit, Friday arm, Saturday abs, Sunday cardio hit. So exciting to see how that goes. But yeah, make sure I for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store. And yeah. Oh what's up y'all? It is I really want the car to realize when I'm recording, I don't want them to input me. Anyway, I'm recording. Anyways, it's much later. It's almost 9 o'clock. It's like 8.45. And I am on day speeding in here. Hope you see me. Almost 8.40. I mean, it's about 8.45. I'm here to the gym. I just came to CVS to see if they had um to see if they had this protein that i am looking for um premier protein you know that is i just came to see if i should see they had any because i want to drink one like after i get done working out but they do not have any like individual things and i don't want about four pack just because i didn't like it and plus the flavors that they had were like they only had chocolate and then caramel 
and a light chocolate or caramel. Um, so definitely don't want to waste money on a four pack. Like it was like twelve dollars. If I'm not gonna drink them, so I didn't get them. So I think I just have to get up early or uh, um, go out tomorrow and go to GNC and get one from there because not only would GNC have more flavors I'm pretty sure they have individual things at GNC so that's why I'm going to go tomorrow try to get one um, for, as far as dinner today I did have a quesadilla it's really really good so and I'm really full so I'm not going to eat anything else that's why I wanted like a protein shake or whatever just so I can have something that I can protein that I can have after I'm done working out but since I didn't have any, ooh, the gym is packed, y'all. This is why I come at the nine. Because if my name won't be here around this time, this is prime gym time, okay? But as far as the water's coming, okay, I have peed approximately 21 times today. But we're getting through the water. As you see, it's below the 7 p.m. time. It's going to take me a good little swig before I go in here and start working out. I'm not taking this big ass thing into the. Yeah. Good shit. Very refreshing. But. I'm going to be saying that I've been getting nowhere. But I definitely finished this today. Um. So, yeah first gallon almost done so yeah i'm finna go in here get my little workout on i don't know how long i'm gonna work out I'm not send the time i'm just gonna work out of course 30 minutes is like my minimum like if i leave before i hit 30 minutes something's wrong but if i don't hit 30 minutes i literally just uh where's my lip gloss if i don't hit 30 minutes by the time I do 10 minutes on the treadmill, which I heard is longer than a treadmill, only because it's a cardio day. Might do the bike for a couple minutes. But the bike don't burn as many calories as I wanted to, so I'm thinking 15 minutes on the on 15 minutes on the treadmill, and then uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of heat cardio, some stretches and stuff. And that should put me at probably a little over 30 minutes, close to 45 minutes probably. So yeah, that's the vibe. Anything for tonight at the gym. Pretty excited to go work out. Let's get it. Okay, y'all. So I'm back home. I'm going to put this what's name in my hair because... I gotta wash my hair. I, I can't put it off anymore. So I need to use this co wash for sure. And then this deep conditioner by Ozzy. I love all the other products. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this deep conditioner. Um, I don't know how to use this. Let's see. Let me wait here the whole way away. Wait three minutes and rinse out. So, yeah, use that as well. But first, co wash. But, y'all, so I just, um, I just, okay, so I was on Snapchat and, oh, shoot, I didn't even wet my hair or nothing. I'm just gonna go in on product. I was just on Snapchat and somebody posted an August challenge. And I know I'm already just doing an August kick challenge. And I'm like, why not do a little bit of this, you know? Incorporate other things into this challenge. Just to, this is, month is all about testing myself, reaching new grounds, okay? So, um, yeah, the August challenge, the only thing that I'm really taking from it is it said, um, read a chapter of Proverbs every single day. So I'm like, okay, cool, why not? How hard could that be? Just read a chapter in the Bible every single day. And I say I want to get close to God this way anyways. So it should not be hard for me to do that. Um, so I want to go read the first chapter of Proverbs, y'all. And 
Why did God go that crazy? Like, why did he go that hard? In the first chapter. Like, basically, the chapter, well, how I took it, was basically saying, you disobey God, and God turns his back on you, basically. Which, I don't think he, like, turns his back permanently, but, like, he turns his back in that moment, like, okay, you're not gonna listen to me. Then, handle on your own, type shit. I mean, oh my God, type stuff. Everything on that, that channel is in less profanity, so let's work on that. But, yeah, it said, he was saying, if you disrespect me, you don't listen to me, then I won't do right by you. And it's so crazy that that's the first chapter of that of that book, because, like, low-key, I needed that. Like, to put it mildly, low-key, I needed that. I needed to see that and read that. Not to say that I don't listen to God when he's speaking to me and when I think it's him speaking to me. But I feel like I don't pay attention close enough, basically. And I go off and do whatever. And I don't put it in his hands enough. So, yeah. That was just really interesting to me to read. Yeah, look how thick my hair is. That's very interesting to me. I didn't know Proverbs got down like that. But I'm not shocked because one of my favorite scriptures, which I don't remember right now, is a proper scripture, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure I have it written down somewhere. But it's insane that he's like, that's what that chapter is about. I, I read it at the time that I read it. Like, August is really finna show out for me as long as I am obedient to God. And pay attention. Please excuse my under, under arms hair grows okay don't don't do too much but as long as i am obedient to him and listening to him and pay attention to him and his word everything should work out according to how it's supposed to go like as long as i don't go out on a whim and do something totally stupid and just listen to him then this man should show out more than the way i think he's going to show out so yeah more of the story I'm going to be paying attention to Proverbs this month, and I recommend by the time I see this, it'll be like a weekend to the month or so. So I recommend that y'all, you know, go read a couple of chapters in Proverbs. If you're in a time in your life where you feel like nothing is working out for you, nothing is going on according to your plan, um... Yeah, Proverbs is probably the book for you. Because I'm definitely in that time in my life where I feel like nothing has gone correct. Like I said, plenty of times, July was a terrible month for me. And I felt like every time I turned around, I got bad news. And it just wasn't cute. So, um, yeah. I need that little pick me up for today. I definitely continue to read a chapter every single day. If I can read these little, you know, provocative books, I can read about, read from God, listen to God, and listen to His His word and His name. So that's what I'm gonna do. Y'all look at how my curls pop with co wash. This is what I use. Co wash. I really been putting off washing my hair. I, my hair has, has I been washing in two weeks. Going on three weeks. So. Yeah. I need, need to do this. Detangle it. Because as y'all see. She's not, look at it. She's not cute. What's up, y'all? So it's Tuesday. I'm pretty sure this is my first time vlogging today. But I, as usual, have not done anything. So that's fine, but I have just arrived at the gym. I combed my hair out, so I did finish washing it yesterday. 
and I just combed it out and I was in this big ponytail which is so ugly but that's all I have to give so whatever I need my hair flat iron y'all so y'all I cannot deal with my like this side of my hair being so like I guess it's damaged but I don't know it's like but the ends on this side like are terrible even when like her like this side does not stay curled like when I put product in it does not absorb the product at all it's like super crunchy when I comb it out it, it tangles quickly so it's bad hair like it's damaged hair and I need to cut off I need to cut off ASAP like as much as possible cut off so I'm gonna need my hair flat iron and then I'm just gonna cut it myself because I can't go to a hairstylist right now. So, I'm just gonna flat iron it and go across and cut my hair. Because I can't, I can't deal with the crunchiness of the side of my hair. And I don't wanna do it while it's like super like curly or even like this. Cause I can see like how bad it actually is like that. Like I need to flat iron it just to really see how terrible it is which honestly i might go home today and just do it and show y'all i don't know i'm just tired of this side of my hair being like this like it's so nasty and like it just ruins my hair styles because like this side like shrivels up really bad and like so this side is like out and flourishing and this side isn't it's annoying so yeah i just need my hair like cut and i feel like i watch enough hair cutting videos to do it myself do I actually know? Cause I'm not like a professional in it. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like, look, like, look how bad. Let's see. All right, I'm trying to see if I can show y'all like really good how crunchy and bad these ends are. Like, super. Like, look at that. Like, my hair is fully detangled out, and it's like these ends are terrible so like they just need to be cut and like and what's crazy is when i was transitioning this was the side i cut the most because the ends on this side always was like that was super curly so it like transitioned the quickest and it was the curliest part of my hair but the curls were so like tight and like i don't know how to explain it besides this side we're just like regular hair like i don't know and then y'all know the front of my hair is really like nice and good and it's just like it's just this one corner of my hair and it's so annoying because it depend like it depend on how far up we go i'm gonna have to cut all my hair that length and it's gonna be so freaking short but i can't deal with it no more like i can't i can't do the crunchy ends anymore like it's aggravating me and i need to start fresh with everything that i do so like i'm just starting fresh So yeah. Anyways, just go to the gym. As far as my gallon goes, I'm right under 5 p.m. and obviously it's nine o'clock at night, but it's fine. I'm gonna finish it. I'm tired of peeing though, y'all. <sighs> yeah, so I'm like halfway between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. <sighs> I'm so tired of peeing. It's ridiculous, but it's okay. I'm gonna go do this app, this workout. Today's app day. I don't feel like being around people, but you know what? Oh, look at my tummy. I'm gonna do it because Fit Girl Winter is coming up. Okay, we're gonna be fit all winter, and we're gonna get our life together. I just wanna lose the stomach and shrink my waist, y'all. I don't care about no other part of my body. Like, well, I want my booty to grow a little bit. But besides that, I don't care about no other part of my body. I just wanna lose this gut. Lose this gut and shrink my waist. So some of the outfits that I wear look better. That's it. And I may wanna lose my side boobs too, cause that's ugly. Okay, uh, whatever, bye. <laughs> Good morning y'all, it is Wednesday, August the 3rd. And let me just say, I am having a hard time getting this water down today. And not because it's like 
nasty or like I want something else to drink. No, I'm just tired of peeing. Like I'm tired of going to the bathroom so I don't want to drink this water because I know I'm going to go straight to the bathroom. It's good water. I love water. But Jesus Christ, I'm tired of going to the bathroom, y'all. Oh. Chicken Right now, and I just got back in the house, 10.30 a.m., and I just got back in the house, because I've been out all morning, okay? So, it's Friday, by the way. So, first I had to wake up at 7-something this morning to take my mama to her hair appointment. And then when I left there, I had to go immediately to go pick up my great aunt and take her to her doctor's appointment. Took her home, she asked me about this breakfast, so shout out to her. But then took her home, and then I had to go to my own appointment. Like, and I still have other things to do, but I wasn't able to do them right now. So I have to wait a little bit to get that done. But it's just like, I've already been busy all morning already. I'm tired. It's nap time. I don't know everything, y'all. I'm probably laying here and taking, taking a nap. I'm not mad at myself if I do. So. Good day, bro. What's up, y'all? So. First of all, it's 17 p.m. And this is how much water I have left. I'm trying. I'm trying, but it's hard. But I just got to the gym, actually. I don't know. I'm two, two hours early for the gym. But I uh, suppose we got plans tonight, so to be on the safe side, be at the gym now, get my workout in because I refuse to not go to the gym today. Like, the water is pretty freaking hard. I already drank a lot of water, y'all. Drinking a gallon every single day is so ridiculous, if you ask me. A couple times a week, cool. But I don't know if I'm make it a gallon today, but I'm gonna keep drinking pushing through but i'm definitely going to gym okay the gym is not stopping if anybody else stop they, girl the gym is not stopping the gym since i was waiting because um before i go in but yeah i forget my workout in my workout yesterday was very trash so today is arm day so i'm pretty i'm trying to put some work in for real um so yeah i'll see y'all when i leave out 
here so y'all so we're at the house this time yeah Crap. so exciting Come on, excites me, guys. Come on, excites me. So, um, as I know, like I said, in the month of August, I'm not eating anything that starts with the season. No candy chips, cookies, or candy chips, cookies, something. You didn't tell me about that. Yes, I did. Anyways, I'm not eating candy, cookies, chips, or cake in the month of August. She's speaking for herself, but I will be getting my crumbs. Yeah, just me. And, you know, along with the one gallon, whatever they're working out every day, whatever. But I'm going to break it for a crumble whenever I have a chance to have crumble, okay? That's the only time I'm going to break it. Regardless of anything else, I'm not going to break it. But for crumble, I will. So, first cookie we have is the monster cookie. And, babe, can you show, uh, pull up a description of the monster cookie for me? So the mustard cookie has all the flavors. It says it's peanut butter, M&M, candy, semi-sweet chocolate chunks, brown sugar, and oatmeal all rolled into one. Oatmeal? Yeah. I can read that. <laughs> I know it kind of looked a little different. Yeah, so this is mustard. And then we have the strawberry ice cream bar. Looks so good. This one looks so freaking good. Thumbnail? Yeah. So I think we're gonna try the monster first and then the strawberry ice cream. Hold on, let's do which one do you think is gonna be best better? I think that one. <laughs> really? I, I think that one's gonna be better. Then which one do we try? I think we try without the icing first. Without the icing? Yeah, so this oh, one okay, doesn't okay. have anything on it. Okay. And the strawberry ice cream bar cookie says It's previously known as a strawberry shortcake um, cookie, but it's new and approved, specially made strawberry dough, new white chip buttercream, and you won't want to miss this tasty summer treat. Okay, anyways, so we're gonna try the mustard cookie first. I guess yes. <laughs> so it's not super hot like we usually have our, like warm like we usually have our cookies, because you got this like what, two hours ago at this point? Are, are, are you done? Y'all, okay. my baby brought these from Birmingham. We don't have a crumble in um, Tuscaloosa. Can you not tell me people where you live? They already know. So, well, you didn't get a piece of So, here, get some M&M's. You need a flavor, your piece of a flavor of everything. Let me see. So, I think this one's going to be the best, guys. She thinks the other one's going to be the best. I think that the other like, one's going to be the best. Oatmeal, peanut butter, and M&M's. That just sounds like a freaking amazing combination. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> But let's eat it. Toast up. I'm feeling like I'm crazy. I think it's mine. It's good. Yes, man. Mmm. That's that. What do you rate that? Get a second taste, guys. I'm gonna get that about a solid nine. It's really good. We got a solid nine. That water coat? No. <clears throat> um, well, me, I'm gonna give really it a, good. I'm gonna get a six. Disrespect. <laughs> it's a little. I like the peanut butter cookie part of it. I like to see it. You like the M&M's? I didn't really taste the M&M's. Like, I had one in my cookie, but I didn't taste any of it. This is a heavy cookie, okay? Because they got all that ice on them. Well, you already know. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have actually tried crumble, but if you do, they put a lot of ice on all their icing cookies. <laughs> It's not bad, it's just like heavy. they overload it. They they overload it. I just didn't just taste it, I'm sorry. And it uh sometimes it kinda of makes it hard. Yeah. Well they eat a whole bunch of it at one time. 
Like, it's all gonna get eight, though. <laughs> it's all gonna get eight. We split these cookies up. But tonight's the only day I can eat these cookies, so I'm gonna eat my fair shit tonight. Then you need the rest. <laughs> or my mom, my mom, my whoever. But this is the strawberry ice cream bar cookie. It's reminding you of the um, ice cream from the trucks. Oh, that's a clear view of the cookie. Let's go. But yeah, let's try this. You didn't even toast up one. I'm sorry, you, you crumbling. Could, she couldn't wait. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, this did it. I was wrong, guys. <laughs> this is sick. I swear I was wrong. I, I just knew the m and was going to be better. It's not. <laughs> it is not. It is here. That's just me. Girl, that's so good. What are you doing? You trying to steal my water? Mm. What's up, y'all? So it is Saturday night. I know, I know, I know. I know. Haven't vlogged all day, but y'all, <laughs> just you know, life. It just I had no reason to vlog on top of everything. So yeah. Um, but I am at the gym. Yeah, I'm not missing the day of the gym. I don't care about, you know, missing, not drinking a whole gallon. Like, if I get close enough, then cool. Yesterday, I didn't get that close. This is about how much I had left yesterday, but I think I can finish it today. But, you know, I didn't not finish the whole gallon. Cool, because I'm still, I'm still drinking a lot of water, way more than I was drinking. But I'm not missing the gym. Also, the whole, you know, no cakes, no cookies, no chips, no candy. I've been doing pretty good on that as well. So, like, yeah. I just, I can't miss the gym. I'm sorry. Can't miss the gym. So, even though it's Saturday, by the time I leave here, go home and shower, it'd be time to go down to the bathroom. So, I'm excited to go to the paint tonight, y'all. It's Saturday night. There's nobody at the gym. I'm so freaking excited that there's no one here. So I'm going to have a ball just jamming out and enjoying my session today. It's ab day, so I already know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do these workouts, get on like one or two machines, finish it on the treadmill, and I'm home. So this should be a good little 40-minute workout. So, yeah. And it's 9.30 now. So, so. what's up, y'all? So, ooh, it's been a minute. So, it is... Sunday. It's 10 o'clock and I'm currently headed to the gym. It's late. I'm literally just not at the gym at 10 o'clock and this is definitely later than what I've been going. But I ate dinner later tonight. So I had I made chicken broccoli rice casserole. It was good. So since I ate dinner so late, um of course, the gym got pushed back so I, cause I had to go to the gym two hours after I eat. So I definitely not go to the gym on a super full tummy because I feel like I'm gonna get sick and you know I don't want them vibes. So I don't go to the gym until um two hours after I eat. So yeah, I'm just not heading to the gym now. And um today I'm just gonna do 30 minutes on the treadmill. And that's it. Um, we're gonna not in the mood to do anything else because my stomach actually hurts. It's been cramping for the last like 30 45 minutes or so. I don't know where that came from. Could be the food, but I don't know why it would be the food. Maybe because it's cheese. I have his cheese in there. I don't know what it is, but yeah, my tummy hurts. It's like cramps. So I don't know where these cramps came from, but yeah. That's what's going on right now. So, uh, I'm not going to go too crazy in the gym. I'm definitely not going to make myself hurt even more than what I already am. But today makes seven days consecutive. Like, seven days in a row. I'm going to the gym. So, I'm really freaking proud of myself. Though I haven't been consistent, this consistent of anything else, more than anything, I'm glad I've been consistent going to the gym. 
because I feel like if I don't go to the gym, then I'm just gonna feel super lazy. So going to the gym is the biggest thing for me. Like I said yesterday, that's my biggest thing. I'm doing better on the water today, so that's good as well. But um, as far as everything else, I kind of lacked the last couple of days. But I'm just gonna pick it right back up. It's Sunday, new week, so just gonna keep going, keep pushing, and not lose track of what I'm doing for this month. It's a whole change of mindset and everything. So yeah, but today's been a pretty chill day. Um, I watched a bunch of movies today, and I actually started watching this the fourth season of The Circle. Yeah, I want to be on The Circle so bad. I apply every single time they have a new season. Okay, whenever they drop a new season, I apply when they drop every occasion. So. Maybe Monday, they're gonna pick me. I don't know. I'm gonna keep doing it though. But you, I feel like you gotta have such a big personality. And I feel like my personality doesn't like show through like applications and stuff. Cause like I'm a big personality in person, I feel like. And once I'm comfortable with somebody. But like without that, I don't know. I guess it don't show as well. But yeah. This next week, I don't know what's gonna happen. Besides, I'm finally getting my car fixed, y'all. Ah! So excited about that when I said that. But I'm finally getting my car fixed. Definitely should be in a rental as well. Either t tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. So I'm so freaking excited about that more than anything. That's the big thing that's happening this week. Also got an interview tomorrow, I think. She has an email me back, so if it's not tomorrow, the interview is definitely going to be Tuesday. School starts back for my sister and everybody on Wednesday. So that's another thing. Um, but yeah, this week, this next week is not going to be too, too crazy. So far, I don't know. It might, you know, stuff might happen. And I feel like I slacked really hard this week on, like, getting out and doing stuff. So this next week, I definitely want to, like, get out and actually do things get things done so definitely just gotta keep focused stay focused and all that good stuff but like i said i'm heading to the gym now i'm just a super child i need to fix that but um yeah head to the gym i'm gonna the gym oh my stomach cramps oh my god i don't know where it's coming from and it's not the time of the month so i don't understand i help people do that like this is the one the lane that people never put their sit on to work merge over like oh my gosh stop it oh uh that hurt that hurt that hurt that hurt, hurt but okay i'll talk to y'all later okay y'all i am home and showered so now i'm just gonna wrap up this vlog i'm gonna end it here if you made it all the way to the end make sure you like comment and subscribe to your girl and i'll see you on my next video bye